Dogs are not waifus. Thank goodness. You know, I'm somewhat of a scientist, and I believe that a scientist's job is to do work that betters the world, and I think I've done just that. Ever since the dawn of time, mankind has been seeking an answer to a question. This question has caused wars, turned people against each other, it's even caused countries to seek drastic legal measures. And that question is, what is an anime waifu? And after a month of work, I've created a software that will answer this question. Today. I present to you the Neural Net Anime Waifu Classifier, also known as Knock. All you have to do is give it a picture of anything and in a matter of seconds it will tell you whether that image is a waifu or not. Alright, I'm getting tired of the TED Talk Apple presentation joke. So yeah, basically, I had an idea to make a bot that determines if something is a waifu or not. And I used the power of machine learning, specifically neural nets, to get it done. Now, I'm sure most people don't care about the science behind it. And honestly, I'm not smart enough to give a good explanation, so I'll keep it brief. Basically, a neural net is a magic box, and we give it two sets of data. A training set to teach it how to identify something, and a test set for it to see how accurately it's learned to identify what we Want. Then we can give it any piece of data and hope it's learned enough to correctly identify what we're looking for. In our case, the data would be JPEG images of anime characters. For the training set, I use 50 images of waifus and 50 images of things that aren't waifu for a total of 100 images. And for the test set, I use 50 images, 20 waifus and 20 non-waifus from the training set. At first, I was going to use images of anime characters I considered to be waifus, but then I realized there would definitely be some bias because I do have a type. Gassed up shardy, said I need my 40, pull up to the party, yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead, I just looked up top 50 waifus from a couple sites and I took images from there. And I'm not gonna say which anime characters I use for the waifu data set, cause I'm not trying to have people in the comments debate whether or not a character deserves to be a waifu or not. That's what the robot is for and that's for the robot to decide. For the non waifus, I just use images of anime characters nobody likes. Because a waifu isn't a waifu just because they're pretty. They also need to have the mannerisms, the characteristics, and the qualities of a waifu. Some examples of the non waifus I used were Sari from A Comic You Kill, Yubaba from Spirited Away, and Elizabeth from Maji. Now, before we start giving this thing some images to determine whether they're waifus or not, I do want to say that obviously this robot isn't 100% accurate. Most of us have had years to watch different animes and see different waifus and learn what makes a waifu a waifu. Compared to this robot that's only had 100 images and a couple of hours to learn what a waifu is. So it's gonna make some mistakes. And if it does make some mistakes, cut it some slack, bro. It's a waifu baby, bro. It's learning, bro. It's giving it its best try. Let it do what it needs to do. All right, so let's get into deciding whether something is a waifu or not. First, let's start with things that are definitely not waifus. For example, a dog. Obviously, dogs are not waifus. We know dogs are not waifus, and hopefully this robot can also determine that dogs are not waifus. And bada bing, bada boom, just like that, the robot has successfully determined that dogs are not waifus. Thank goodness, because if this robot said the dog was a waifu, oh no, we'd be in for a horrible time. Look at this dog, it's so cute, but it's not a waifu, that's for sure. All right, the next image we're gonna test our robot on is an image of spaghetti. Again, obviously, we know spaghetti is not a waifu, but hopefully our robot can also determine spaghetti isn't a waifu. Again, like before, we're letting it run. You know, our robot is looking at that picture of the spaghetti. It's, you know, looking at the different pixels. It's thinking, it's scratching its head. It's giving it some sniffs, some taste, and hopefully it can realize, you know, okay, this is just a good, delicious picture of some spaghetti and not an anime girl, anime character, who I want to wife up, pop up just like you always do. Show us that spaghetti is not a waifu at all. Oh, no. Well, fuck me. This is not good. <laughs> This is not good at all. Um, apparently this robot thinks a good old plate of spaghetti is a waifu. I was not expecting this. Um, like I said earlier, this robot is learning, bro. It's gonna make some mistakes. Um, you know, let's give it another run. Let's give it another chance. You know, let's give it another chance. And if it gives us, it give if it, <laughs> if it gives us, if it gives us waifu spaghetti two times in a row, then there's not much we can really do. Hopefully this time, it's able to determine that spaghetti is not a waifu. 
Let's go, okay? See, it just needed some time. It just needed some time to think. It needed some time to scratch his head and be like, is this really a waifu? And you know, after a second chance, it's like, ah, oh, nah, this is just some spaghetti. It's some good Italian fine dining. Definitely not a waifu. Next up, again, something that is completely and utterly not a waifu, a car. We know cars are not waifus. Let's see if this robot can determine if a car is a waifu or not. All right, we're about to find out whether cars are waifus or not. And the results are in. Cars are waifus. <laughs> okay, you know, just like the spaghetti, I'm gonna give it another chance. I'm gonna give it another chance to determine if a car really is a waifu or not. You know, sometimes it needs some time to think, sometimes to scratch its head. So we'll give it another run. And if it gives us two in a row that cars are waifus, then I guess cars are waifus, you know? I made this bot to determine whether something's a waifu or not, and it is now the law on what is a waifu or not. So we will not question its authority. All right, after a little bit of thinking, it's about to tell us again whether cars are waifus or not. And it's two for two. It's two for two, I guess cars are indeed waifus. There's not much we can do about it. We, I'm not gonna run it again because that wouldn't be fair to the spaghetti, it wouldn't be fair to the dog. Cars are now considered waifus. Next up, we'll move to images of anime characters, but these are characters who are 100% without a doubt not waifus. They don't look like waifus, they don't act like waifus, these are people. If you think these characters are waifus, there's something wrong with you, I'm sorry. First up, we have Sho Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes, the demon that turned his daughter into a dog. If this robot tells us that Sho Tucker is a waifu, we're gonna be in for some bad times. And the results are in. Sho Tucker is not a waifu. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's what we love to see. This monster is not a waifu. He'll never be a waifu. He doesn't have the qualities of a waifu. Get him out of here. Now, onto the next character, who is an anime character, but is definitely not a waifu, at least in my opinion. And again, if you think this thing is a waifu, then you're sick. And I'm talking about the fake Nami from One Piece after the time skip. And here we go. It's in the last bit of processing, and it will show us that fake Nami is a waifu fuck okay okay just like the spaghetti just like the car i'm gonna give it another chance i'm gonna give it one more run you know it's hard determining whether something's a waifu or not especially when this kind of looks like an actual waifu so we're gonna give it one more chance we're gonna give it one more chance and hopefully it can figure out that fake nami is not a waifu all right now show us that you know what's up oh my goodness our robot has failed us it couldn't do it. It couldn't tell the difference between a real waifu, Nami, and the fake Nami who's not a waifu. You know, it'd be like that. Like I said, this robot's not perfect. It hasn't had as much time as, you know, me, who's watched anime for decades now to determine what a waifu is. So, you know, we just gotta take the L, bro. I guess fake Nami is indeed a waifu, according to this robot. Now on to the next anime character, who again, should not be a waifu, is nowhere near a waifu, Miluki from Hunter x Hunter. All right, the robot is about to be done processing and it's gonna tell us that Miluki is a waifu. Come on, man, I get it. His face got some nice curves, you know? He's got some beautiful hair, but he's not a waifu. Come on, man. All right, again, I'm gonna give it one more try. We've done retries for a bunch of other stuff, so we're gonna give this one a retry as well. All right, come on. You had another try. You had a, a chance to rethink. Show us Miluki is not a waifu. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. See, you know, it just needs a little bit of more time to think, a little more processing time, you know? It realized, yeah, these are curves, but they're not like beautiful waifu curves. You know, this isn't beautiful waifu sweat, bro. This is freaking Miluki sweat, bro. He's not a waifu. And the robot was able to determine that now we're gonna go on to anime characters that in my opinion are a hundred percent waifus no if ands or buts these are waifus starting with nico robin from one piece arguably one of the top waifus in all of one piece and the robots done thinking easy easy work bro obviously nico robin's a waifu this robot knows what waifus are did it have some trouble with the fake nami sure but fake nami looks like real nami and nami is a waifu but yeah obviously nico robin a waifu and i'm glad that frame one first try the bot was able to figure that out now we can move on to another person who is without a doubt a waifu and that is wiz from konosuba 
And just like that, once again, our robot was able to determine that Wiz from Konosuba is indeed a waifu. So right now we're two for two on the waifus. Our robot knows what a waifu is, that's for sure. And now onto our final anime character that I will use to show that this robot knows what a waifu is. And that's Tomoko from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4, also known as Josuke's mom. The definition of an anime baddie, bro. And just like that, on its first try, our robot is able to know it's determined that Tomoko is indeed a waifu. So we're three for three on the waifu, which is excellent. So overall, you know, I think our bot did a pretty good job. When it came to things that were totally not waifus, the dog, the car, the spaghetti, it got two out of three correct. It knew that a dog wasn't a waifu, it knew that spaghetti wasn't a waifu, even though it needed another try, and apparently it thinks cars are waifu, which to some people, that's true. When it came to images of anime characters that are not waifus, it also did a pretty good job. It also got two out of three, where it knew that Miluki wasn't a waifu, it knew that Sho Tucker wasn't a waifu, but unfortunately, it thought that the fake Nami was a waifu, and I chalked that up to it thinking that it was regular Nami, which is a diss, but hey, you know, this robot has only had a couple of hours and 100 images to learn what a waifu is, so I'll cut it some slack. And then it came down to the final test of 100% certified anime waifus, and our robot was 3 for 3. So overall, like I said, I think it did a pretty good job. For the most part, this robot can determine whether something is a waifu or not, so yeah, that's it for this video i had some fun making this robot it did take a lot of time it took about a month but overall i think we had a pretty good outcome also i'd love to know who your number one waifu is leave it in the comments below let me know who your number one waifu is and you know we can argue whether or not your waifu is a wife on that note i'll be ending the video here if you watched all the way to the end i appreciate it thank you so much if you like what you saw drop a like on the video and if you want to see more content from me consider subscribing to the channel on that note i will catch y'all later peace